In this video, we will take a tour of the Hub from a mobile device. From a tablet or phone, the Hub may look different than on a larger screen. Let's look at how to navigate around using the smaller screen. To help you see the navigation options, I am using a mouse, but all this can be done using a touch screen. When we log in, we are always brought to the dashboard. The settings icon for the dashboard is four squares and appears in the top right corner. Due to the smaller screen size, the widgets will appear below, so we need to scroll down to see them. The left menu tabs are hidden from the tablet or phone view. To navigate to the different tabs, we need to touch the two lines at the top right corner. To find our parent or student profile, we click on our name or picture. The system will not close the window, so we need to hit the X in the top right corner. We can also use the gear icon at the top right corner. Using the gear icon, the system will close this window. From here, we can see the same information as on a larger screen. Scrolling down, all these same options are available from the parent or student profile. From the parent profile, we touch on the menu again. We can see a student name listed below our parent name. Touching on the name will give us a list of all of our students. Here we choose Jonathan. Clicking on the dashboard tab will take us to Jonathan's dashboard. On the menu again, we touch on the calendar tab. Here we can see we are presented with a day or agenda view. From a mobile device, due to this screen size, the month at a glance view is not available. Just like on a larger screen, we can schedule events and use the calendar reschedule tools. However, on a mobile device, there is no print icon. Navigating to the Courses tab, just like the larger screen, this view is the same. Touching on the details of the course takes you into the course overview. This view is also similar to the larger screen, except the picture of the book is hidden, and access to the full course planner is not available. The last four tabs, Assignments, Gradebook, Reports, and notes are all the same as a larger screen. We can even print reports from the gradebook or reports tabs. To move quickly back to the dashboard, we click on the Homeschool Hub icon at the top left. This takes us back to the dashboard for the student we are currently viewing. Clicking on the two lines again, we find the four icons at the top right. The gear icon takes us back to the parent or student profile. The question icon will take us to the help section. Scrolling down, we find the help ticket where we can get help from technical support. The notifications icon or bell icon is next to the logout button. These are late or grade reminders and will show up on the dashboard, calendar, and assignments tab. Here we are logged into the student profile. The student can work through lessons and assignments, even watching a video from a mobile device. Using the Homeschool Hub from any device allows us the freedom to follow our school day from the schoolroom, couch, or on the go.